Hi, I'm Vince Morton. I'm the U.S. Business Development Manager for Telops, um, and I'm here at the SPIE DCS show in 2017. And I'm going to give an update on what's new for Telops product lines, as well as discuss some advanced imaging applications. Telops is well known as the leader of high-performance thermal infrared systems, including our hyperspectral imager known as the Hypercam. Uh, we continue to expand and strengthen that Hypercam line, uh, including the methane-tuned Hypercam, which is specifically uh, designed to detect and identify methane at very low concentrations, uh, approaching ambient. Um, and uh, in terms of other advances in the hyperspectral hypercam line, we uh, add accessories and improvements uh, this year, including a polarizer module, some telescope accessories, and a macro lens allowing for close-in microscopic lab work. Telops also continues to lead the field in uh, high-performance fast frame rate infrared systems. We have an upgraded version of our uh, 2,000 frame per second model New for 2017, it's now upgraded to 3,000 frames per second and up to 90,000 in uh, smaller sub-windows. And also new for 2017 are a very long wave, 7 to 12 micron, 1,000 frame per second uh, camera model. Uh, we're getting a lot of interest in this. And uh, also a 1,000 frame per second VGA resolution 640 by 512 mid-wave system. Uh, these are um, the new for 2017 models. In addition, the high definition 1280 by 1024 mid-wave detector is uh, new for 2017, uh, approaching 180 frames per second uh, is another new model for 2017. The multi-spectral family of cameras from Telops is unique to the industry. It uh, features a fast rotating filter wheel in front of the, the detector, which rotates at uh, up to 800 frames per second. Uh, or equivalent to 100 frames per second in each of eight separate filtered data streams. The configuration is available for the full range of Telops cameras from the mid-wave to the long wave. And what we have uh, for today is an example taken from a combustion uh, research laboratory. So to start with, uh, inside the camera, we can open up the lens in order to see behind the actual filter wheel just behind the lens. With the lens taken off, now we can see inside the camera body where the eight position filter wheel is now visible. Um, with each of those filter positions, a, a standard sized 25 millimeter filter can be installed. And those filters would be according to customer specification. They can be of any band pass, notch filter, high pass, low pass, neutral density filter, whatever suits the program for your analysis. Once you've made the selection, then the filters are in place and the camera operates synchronously so that up to 800 frames per second, the exposures are synchronized with, a, with sequential filter positions and, and essentially you get full uh, eight full movies, eight full data streams really, uh, of each filtered uniquely according to the specification. Looking now at the screen, we see uh, the data resulting from a multispectral acquisition in a combustion research facility looking uh, through the piston into an optical engine. This analysis was to examine the combustion products uh, during a, a um, engine cycle. There are five views here corresponding to filter positions and the bottom right shows the region of the infrared midwave infrared spectrum corresponding to each of the filters as the engine runs the camera acquired high speed imagery uh, in each of the filters resulting in a um, movie showing the evolution and expansion of gases into the cylinder. So this was rather a quick movie. We'll look at it one more time. And uh, we'll go through the, the different components as, as we watch. Looking at the sequence again, uh, each of the five uh, boxes on the screen represent 
the data stream coming from one of five of the filters uh, of interest that are installed in the camera. We have a broadband uh, filter which simply shows the entire uh, spectrum from three to five microns integrated. Uh, the second uh, top middle uh, shows what we call a through flame filter, avoiding the emissions from any gases in the, in the combustion chamber, which allows you to see the, the temperature of the combustion chamber walls themselves. Uh, to the top right is a CO2 uh, tuned filter, allows you to see the uh, movement of CO2 gases into the chamber. The bottom left is a hydrocarbon filter, focused, uh, centered on hydrocarbon emissions and showing what the fuel um, injection process looks like as, as the hydrocarbons uh, are injected into the chamber. And finally, the bottom center is a methane filter showing uh, the injection of methane in this, in this combustion process. So as we play this one more time, we see interwoven between each of these uh, filters, we see the full cycle, including all the gas uh, injections and exhausts, as well as the temperature of the chamber simultaneously. So this example today demonstrates the flexibility and the power of the multispectral approach, looking at a very dynamic and high speed, um, complex interaction inside of a combustion chamber. There are many other applications that can be uh, tackled with this kind of approach, the multispectral approach. You can visit us at telops.com on the web, have a look at our YouTube channel, and uh, contact us with the ideas for your own application and how you might be able to use multispectral high-speed imaging in the mid-wave or the long-wave infrared.